creating your matching game in EducaPlay is as easy as adding the names of the groups and what you want to appear in the cards. You can also give a title to Ray, your assistant powered by artificial intelligence, and let it do the work for you. Players select all the cards in the panel that belong to the group to get them. If you want a plus of excitement, you can set a time limit or a maximum number of lives. Let's go! First step, click New Activity, choose Matching Game, and register or log in if you haven't done so yet. Once inside the editor, the easiest way to start creating your matching game is giving Ray a title, so it creates it for you. Thanks to the artificial intelligence, Ray will create cards with elements belonging to different groups related to the text you have provided, and will leave the game ready for you to publish after you add, remove or change whatever you want. You can also give Ray a piece of text to create the matching game from its content. For example, you can copy and paste a list of structured data, so Ray uses it to create the game. If you want to create the game manually, write the names of the groups and the text. Pictures or audios you want to show in your cards. You can also create a card that combines a text with an audio or a picture. Enable the option Wrong Cards if you want to add cards that do not belong to any of the groups but work as distractors. And that's all you need to create a matching game manually. Go to the Info tab, make sure you fill the title and the description, and press the Publish button. In the Options tab you have Penalize Mistakes and Time. By default, mistakes do not affect the score. Enable Penalize Mistakes if you want your players to get less points for the errors they make. Then decide how many lives you give them, that is, how many mistakes can they make before the game ends. If you enable time, you'll decide how many seconds they have to finish the game. With any advanced academic or commercial plan, you can use advanced options such as setting a background image, setting the game as private, showing a message when players pass the activity, or not showing them the correct answers when they finish. If you have a commercial plan, you can also customize the game with your logos and your corporate colors. You are almost there. Next, go to the Information tab where you can change the language of the activity interface and write the title and description. If you want, you can also choose where the activity is located in your educational system. You can also tag your activity to make it easier to classify. You can separate your tags with commas or pressing Enter. When your activity is ready to be published, you'll just have to click the Publish button. Once your activity is published, a screen will appear from which you can do many things. You can keep on creating activities, you can check the one you just created, you can get the link to share it, you can publish it in Google Classroom or other platforms, you can create a challenge with it, or you can keep on editing it. You can do all of this whenever you want. Just go to your profile and click the buttons below the activity. 